Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to uh, Satisfactory. I've been dying to get back to this. Uh, it's actually hitting Steam release on June 6th. I'm recording this on the 1st, at least in Australian time. So it's just around the corner. So it's a bit of a new hotness. This is a game that I actually have sort of started in fits and starts throughout the time on the channel. There's an experimental branch and then there's the normal standard stable early access branch. They're both pretty close to each other. Um, we're going to start fresh, so I won't waffle too long because I've started again quite a few times. But we're doing it in experimental, and we oh, sorry, um, sorry, we're doing it in stable, and we're sticking with it for the time being. Um, I've had a few issues with the experimental branch. Um, this way, we might actually get a, a bit more of a, a playthrough going on. If you don't know what this game is, it's essentially 3D Factorio. Funnily enough, I haven't played much Factorio, but it's on the ticket. Stand by. I'm actually going to play it. On the back of... We've had some good conversations around production chain games. And um, I've been stating my position on using resources to build buildings that don't... That make the resources. It, it's a whole thing in Space Haven we were talking about. But I feel a due diligence is for me to dive a little bit deeper into these sort of supply chain games. Which doesn't hurt me at all. So we're going to do a, a bit of an exploratory um, thing into Satisfactory and probably Factory as well. Because they're the daddies of the chain management. I suppose I should bring Anno back to the channel as well because that's the same sort of thing except more a population based one than an actual manufacturing one but it's the same thing. Anyway, so we're going to start a new game and hopefully uh, we can get a bit of a, a you know, a, a more solid run out of this. Uh, as was explained to me, it's all one big biome. These are just different spots you start on, right? This is the easiest place. You can skip the onboarding and start at tier one, which is so good. Uh, session name. Um, let's go the Scarlet Chad. And uh, private will do just fine. And we'll just start in grassy, grassy fields. Um, God, did I have it on private? It was saying multiplayer. I'm pretty sure it was a private game. Whatever. We'll work it out. Worst case scenario. Someone drops in on me while I'm recording. What are the odds of that? Um... Yeah, the, the biomes just create a little bit more uh, strain on your starting position. I'm assuming, because as the game goes on, you have to travel further and further for things like coal and oil and that sort of thing. Perhaps the other biomes, while they're harder, they might help you a little bit more in the late game. But that's not something I'm even remotely worried about at the moment. We're going to sort of just hit the ground running. Uh, another thing as well, we've had a lot of new people come in from the station years, the engineering type games. So even though I've started this game a couple of times on the channel, I feel like uh, we might actually have a pretty solid audience that would be receptive to this. Now, I keep pressing C, which is obviously the incorrect button. What is the scanner button game? F? It's not F. Uh, oh, it's probably down the bottom. V? There we go. Copper. We need... No, no, no. We need iron. Iron is daddy number one. Jesus, how far away is it? 300? All right, let's go. Uh-oh. Ah, should be right. I've got a spare ankle. That's why you got two. Oh, there's sort of double deposits over there. But let's hit this closer one here. Um, I'm going to play this a little bit more robotic, a little bit more brute force -y. Uh oh, I need to equip my... Oh, look at all the crap you start with. This is so good now. Pigment can be Wh harvested from these flower petals and Where'd you go, dickhead? A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Wait, has he given up on me? This is limestone. Oh, this is the sort of general starting place I tend to end up in anyway. Look at that. I'm pretty sure... Is that three deposits? Six. Very happy with that. All right, big fella. Give me your the bits. Of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. All right. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. First things first, we've got to get this hub down to get the ball rolling. So we're just going to slap it down. Um, the one thing I think, if you want to, like a fundamental sort of tenet of this game is your bottleneck. Well, in all of these sort of games, your bottleneck is labor. 
That is the greatest bottleneck, so you need to reduce that, and that's why you automate. Um, so if we get to a point where I need something and I don't have it, we need to shore up that part of the industry immediately. Because that is a future investment. Um, God, I'm a little bit rusty, just bear with me. We'll get a, uh, one of these going. One of the other things is, I don't know if we have the tech for storage organization. We do, fantastic. And do we have conveyor belts? We do. Okay, so at the very least, we'll put a little buffer um, storage cabinet on everything so that nothing fills up to 100 and stops. We don't want that. That's just asking for trouble, introducing a bottleneck like that. Um, we should have the technology for a miner, but what do we need to make it? Oh, no, I've got all the bits, so that's good. Let's do that. All right. So we'll get that going. Uh, we're going to need power. So we start with our generator. We plug onto here. Sorry, I'm not tutorializing too heavily because this game is kind of old hat for us. We've done this before. Um, we'll jam some bloody animal skin in there. Loves it. Some bloody leaves as well. And this thing should just start mining like a mad dog, but it will... There you go, we'll just put our ore in there as well. There you go. So that's going to fill up really quick. So we need to build a storage crate immediately. Oops. Whatever that'll do, I suppose. And then we'll conveyor it in. Conveyors operate without power, so that's fine. Cool. And so the storage capacity on this is just disgusting, right? So that's not going to run out anytime soon. Um, we need to put in a milestone. Man, it's so good to be back in this game. All right, tier one. What do I want? Foundations, they're handy. They're cool. I love having a neat and tidy base. Conveyor splitter and merger is so much more important to me right now. Um, milestone, mile, yeah. We have to make copper to make that happen. Concrete. Uh, uh, let's let's just do that one first. That's fine. All right. So you can see straight up, we need concrete production, which we can do. That's easy. In fact, this is a limestone deposit over here, if I'm not mistaken. Perfect. So we have to kill this bloke. Sorry, mate. Hey, you got me, you little bugger. I mean, fair play. Alright. So, making concrete's easy enough. We just put limestone into a bloody concrete producer. Um, miner. Come on. Encroaching on other clearance. Huh. Can we actually break these rocks? I don't think so. Oh. Oh, are there technically two deposits here? Is that what's going on here? Come on. Ah. Oh. Well, isn't that a doozy? I guess things have changed a bit. Okay. Um, I don't know if the power line will reach all the way. No, it won't. Plus, we'll need to build one of these anyway. So we'll build a cable, a power structure, sorry, and cable to that. Which we will then delete this. If I can even bloody select it. Connect to that. Because there's only one connector on the generator. And now they should both be running, which is good. Um... 
Let's get a storage crate. This is just how I want to do it. Until until we sort of scale up our base a bit. Safe than sorry, right? I just don't want to lose out on production. Always be producing. God, I love the aesthetic in this game. We've been through this many times. Um, production. Constructor. It should just be a constructor. Actually, I need to be careful. Can I... Can you brick your game here? You've got to be careful. Equipment workshop. Let's build one there. And that's... And we've got a crafting bench as well. Okay, cool. So I think between those two buildings, you're pretty much... You're golden. Um, smelter is what we need, actually. We need a smelter. No, we don't. Not for limestone. We just need a constructor. So we're going to do that. Like this. Look, I know it's all rough as guts, but that's how it is in the early tech. You just sort of got to go with it. Right. We're going to say, make me concrete, please, sir. And now the limestone will go in. The limestone will go in. Right, I've either overdrawn or, or I've run out of power. That's possible. So we're going to grab some leaves. So getting off this sort of biofuel source ASAP is a big thing. We'll end up going up to coal next. But that's actually a little while away. Um... That'll do. I can't remember, did we work out if... Does it overproduce power, or does it only produce up to draw? I'm going to assume that it only produces up to draw simply because we don't have batteries. Right? So, like, if I were to hook both those generators up and fill them both up, are they going to use up the resources half as much? Not clear. In fact, I don't think we ever got a definitive answer on that. I was sort of experimenting with it. Alright, so now we shouldn't really run out of concrete. That'll just... As long as there's power, we're good. So our real bottleneck there, at least for concrete production, is power. Alright, so what's next? Iron sheets. So we're going to do the same sort of nonsense over here. We will produce a smelter. I think we've run out of power cables there. So we're going to put it to the test actually. We're going to hook this cable onto the network. How many you got? Four. Alright, well we're going to delete this bloody thing again. So you two cables can join onto the same network. Alright, and no, 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 jeez, do not, F, I keep pressing F, because F is like a, activatable in certain things. Yeah, look, consumption, production. Oh, look at that, it's, pr okay, yeah, okay, cool. And there's capacity, there you go, that actually answers my question perfectly. It literally will only produce it at the speed that it requires. Oh, hang on. Twenty megawatts per second. Consumption. And capacity. I'm just going to have to trust it. It's saying consumption and production are, like, on par, even though there's higher capacity. So I'm just going to assume that the rate at which it's consuming my leaves is sort of, uh, fluctuates. Now, this isn't working because I didn't tell it what to actually do. I need you to make ingots. And, uh, again, I'm putting a storage crate here. Just got to don't trust myself to, to check these things often enough. All right. And now, 
we're going to stick a constructor on the end of this. Which is going to produce iron plates. How many more of these do we have? That one's full. Oh wow, that's actually technically full as well. Okay. It's always this bloke that gets disconnected, eh? Nice. Everyone should be hooked on. Alright, so we're producing steel plates now up here, right? And, like I said, my best practice that I'm at least observing for the moment is storage crate on the end. Aha! Now we've run out of stuff. We need iron rods. So we're going to need to snatch some of these. Come on, give me them. Nice. So, I'll just manually bash out these rods. That should be enough, right? For a storage container. Cool, perfect. Uh, sorry, my depth perception was a little bit off there. Oh god, have I done it literally again? I have. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Alright, if I press control, I think I can line them up. There we go. Much better. That should be making plates. Cool. So, we, we have like an infinite power as the bottleneck set up for the first two things. We want to do iron rods as well. Um, it's going to be crowded in there, so I might just put it on this deposit. And I'm going to build a whole production line here again just to make iron rods could do all sorts of things like trying to split off of off of this well we don't have splitters yet actually so we can't but um i'm not that worried because there's no harm in making too much iron like i don't think that's a problem uh, need the iron rods again Okay. Oh, here we go. Look. It's overdoing it with ore. So we're just going to manhandle the ore component. I didn't... I don't remember how many iron rods that we needed. Yeah, so I know we're moving at a bit of a blistering pace. The thing is, even if you're not familiar with this game, which I feel like if you're into this sort of production line management, you'd know this game already. What is this email? Um, you should be intuiting a lot of this anyway. Have we run out of fuel? We have run out of fuel. That's not going to last. I'm going to go get some more. Um, you can, we're already actually gutting quite a bit of the plant life around here. You can make a thing called biomass, which... can put his bloody skin in the oven. Yeah, we can make biomass, but again, we need to tech up to it. So one thing at a time. At the moment, we're just sort of teching up to uh, foundation blocks. Yeah, look, the power stopped while we were away. I'm pretty sure we can't make biomass. I could be wrong. We can! Oh my god, I wish I'd known that. Well, silly sausage. Alright, that's much better. I'm actually going to pull that out. It'll probably stop the system. But I want to make even more biomass. Because it's the efficiency of biomass is much, much, much higher. 
There you go. But we do need to be running two generators at once for it to work. Um, okay, so I need to hook that up. Did we max all of these power lines? We did four, four, one, two, three. We're absolutely going to need another one of these. Oh, whoops, hang on. I'm just doing it wrong. There we go. Nice, so that's working. Oh my god, I gotta stop doing that. Sorry, team. Alright, so that's going to produce ore, which we will then need to smelt. Uh, we're short bars again, that's okay, I'll, I'll make some. Interesting that we ran out of bars first, of all things. Or rods, or whatever you want to call them. So maybe, maybe um, I should have started with the rod manufacturing. It doesn't matter, because I don't plan on starting this game again if I can help it. This, this I'm hoping is the save. This is the one that we take all the way through, unless they have a radical update, which they will. But for the foreseeable future, this is the save that I want to do. Okay, hang on. Storage. We're trying to build a smelter. Right. Power line to there. Iron ingot. Um, I'm obviously doing this quite messy. All right, we need plates, which should be in here. No, E. Look at that, 96 of them. Perfect. And if we didn't have the storage, that would that mach that whole chain would stop actually at 100. So. You can see already we filled that storage in such a short amount of time. Uh, I can't remember how many rods we needed. I'll make 20. Alright. There'll be time to clean all this up later. Uh, at the moment, we don't even have the foundations to make buildings, so so it's all going to be out rough as rough as guts. Um, I might try and turn this in on itself a little bit. We'll give it some space. All right, what are we making there? Iron bars. It's like a little choo choo train constructor. Oh, which we can make. We must have uh, reinforced metal or something. Um, what is that going to construct right now? Iron bars? Okay, cool. So we might be able to just get away with going off of this power line. For the moment. And then storage. Storage is good. So if you hold control, it does like a snap to grid sort of thing. Okay. Oh, there we go. So if we loop back around to our limestone quarry up here, we should have a shitload of uh, limestone in this storage. There we go. Not quite enough, actually. Interesting. Yeah, right. Well, like I said, true to my word, we'll, um, can I take that back? I can't. Um, I'm going to shore up my limestone supply. Yeah, that is technically one deposit. Is there one just over here? It just bleeped at the exact same time, so it threw me off. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, and this has no node on it? How unusual. Okay. So the other one had two nodes on it, but it was only one deposit. Um, Miner. I'm short concrete. The irony. Uh, I probably shouldn't have stuck all that concrete in there. Oh, look at that lovely blue light. Where's that coming? Is it the moon? Is it actually the moon? Cool. Alright. That's enough, I think. Right, minor. Perfect. Let's go. But yeah, like I said, it's all about perspective on labour as the bottleneck. Now, funnily enough, right now, me running back and forth has become the bottleneck, and that's more, you know, conceptually advanced in that we need to thread everything back to a, a, a depository, I said, well, repository? Depository. A place for me to pick everything else up. Instead of me running around. Again, we're short bars, but we're producing bars now, so... 41, yes please, daddy-o. So we'll do the same thing again. Do the storage container. Right, we're going to need to extend our power array. Jeez, you start with so many materials. We're, we're going to hit a point where we run out. Um... Well, if I made a misstep here, maybe. Right. Can I get that down to... Okay. No dramas after all. Nice. Are you running now? Sounds like it. Why don't I see anything? Aha! Okay. And now we get a constructor, which we are short of cable. Okay. Um, now to do that, we're going to need copper. Um, should be some up there, yeah. I've done this start point before. That's cool, you can visibly see it in the, in the distance. I'm just going to go dig a little bit. We might not actually have enough to make a... a miner. Come on, up you go. But I think I probably still have a little portable miner dude in my inventory. So I'll at the very least drop him off. There should be a guard, yeah. Jeez, I am bloody... I am in the air. This is not good. Oh, goodness. What a game, man. Alright. I don't think I can build a miner. No, I'm short concrete of all things. Oh, wait, hang on. I don't actually have a little, little dude. That's fine. We'll have to build one of them as well. That little bit of iron that I just got then. Ah, uh, sorry, copper. We're 24. That'll probably be enough. We only really needed one cable. Jeez, I sprung this base up quick, didn't I? I love it. This appeals to me the same as that hard space shipbreaker game coming up does. The idea of you, this one dude with this big job, but like, by modern standards, it's a terrifying concept, but by future standards, this is probably like a shit kicker labor job, having to build this entire planet sized factory on your own. I actually find that really compelling. Right, we'll make some biomass and get that in the, in the generator. Yeah, it's good to be back on this, that's for sure. All 
Alright, um, cable. Oh, well, there we go. Okay. I already had some wire in my inventory, so. Huh. I can't even remember what I was trying to make here. It wasn't power cable, was it? No, it was just a straight up constructor. Aha, okay, that's fine. Ooh, now that's interesting. I think we put too much draw on the system. Do we have the tech to build extra batteries? We do. Or burners. What do I need there? 25 copper. Hang on. We need to disconnect that immediately. Because it shuts down your entire grid. Which we can't have. I need everything to keep going, no matter what. And then, uh... Oh wow, two to one? I'm pretty sure they've changed that for wire. It might have been four to one once upon a time. I know they rebalanced all the stuff. Which is a good way to brick someone's factory, because it gets... People get very much about fine-tuning their production. Um, right, we need to build a biomass burner, do we not? Now, yeah, I need to keep this near these, just because you, you, it's, it's good practice, so let's do that. Um, we're going to need to build another cable. And then rig both of those in. Uh, Alright, but we're very, very quickly, we're drawing so much juice. And now we should be able to connect that thing on the end. So this is good. We're doing well. I mean, we haven't done any milestones yet, but we've got some pretty heavy duty automation going already. We're running, we're actually running to a fuel problem ridiculously fast, which I would rather have that than an actual physical chipping away on this being the problem. We've barely had to touch this bench. So I think that we're doing something pretty right this run for sure. Anyway, team, that's the start of uh, Satisfactory. Let me know what you reckon. I would love to play through this as far as we bloody well can go. Um, and I get a feeling like a bunch of you would be keen on that as well. Team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.